Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fires Ontario. Hope everyone's well. Still knocking them out for March. Um, I can't even remember what sign I just read, so we're just gonna go to the next one. Oh, Capricorn, it's you. All right, I'll pull this one out. It was Virgo? Virgo is the one I just read. Okay, this reading will be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will do whatever you choose to do with the message given by the cards, Capricorn. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. I'm just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay too. You can check your moon or using your Venus sign readings if you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and may be vice versa. Might even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. And our dear friends, the cross watchers, are always welcome here at the Fire Sign Tarot Table. Everybody's always welcome here. I love it when people stop by. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate you on more than just a soul level. If you like what you see, go ahead and hit the like button. I mean, you don't have to. I'm not going to twist your arm. I'm not going to make you do something you don't want to do. I'm not even going to guilt you into it. But if you do want to see more and, you know, stuff, because I don't upload on a regular basis anymore, I'm, I'm having some health issues and I do what I can when I can. I'm just throwing that out there, being honest with you. I can't upload like I used to be able to. Um... But yeah, you can hit the subscription button and the notification bell. And hopefully my health issues will get under control very, very soon. And we will have more energy to be able to do more, more often. Okay, enough about that. Before I invoke the cards and throw them down for Capricorn for March of 2021, two things. One, never, ever make a major life altering decision based on a tarot reading. Just don't do it. I just, I don't recommend it. I read tarot when I never in a million years would do that. Two, if it's not your story, not your reading, not your message, if it's not vibing, not making any sense, if it's just not yours, just leave it on the table and walk away. I'm perfectly okay with it. I'm cool. No bad blood, no hard feelings. I'm fine. Okay. I'm not going to be able to throw down cards for every Capricorn every time. I, I'm just not that cool. I'm sorry. Okay. Heavenly Father, Mother, with Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, and Archangels, I ask a message you have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, March 2021. Thank you for coming down and playing cards with us today. Let's get Capricorn to their highest possible spiritual good and put them on their highest possible spiritual path. Capricorn, why are you here? Five of Wands, who are you fighting with? That's confrontational energy going on right there. What are you fighting with? What's going on? Is this internal or external? Well, let's find out. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Prince of Swords reverse. Y'all ain't talking. Y'all ain't talking. Uh, maybe they blocked you or you blocked them. Somebody got blocked here. Hmm. All right. What do you think of them, Nine of Swords? That's... Somebody's losing sleep. Wow. Um, I, I got, like, bat poop bonkers energy coming off of that right now. When was the last time you slept? Or possibly you think they're the one losing sleep over this. I don't know. We'll find out here in a minute. What do you want of them, for them, or from them, Capricorn? Nine of Cups reversed. Oh, boy. That's having the way too much fun card. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Hmm. Either something feels a little bit too good or somebody's doing something that feels a little too good or way too good way too often. I don't know. We'll just keep throwing them down. How do they feel about you, Capricorn, Temperance, Rivers? Oh, there's negative energy. Probably because y'all blocked each other. Nobody's talking. You possibly view you, as, view you as a little bit impatient. Wow. This is, oh my, this is like choke worthy. Oh my gosh. Wow. 
Wow. Okay. What do they think of you, Capricorn? High Priestess Revert. Oh, wow. Egomaniac. I mean, I'll throw a clarifier on it, but that's just the first thing that came into my head. Egomaniac. Whoo. Wow. Oh, wow. What do they want of you, for you, or from you, Capricorn? Six of Swords reversed is the card of return. Okay. Cross Watcher, can I, can I pose a question if the Cross Watcher's watching? There's negative energy, and they're an egomaniac. Who needs to come back? I, I'm just curious. I might be reading this wrong. I am a little tired, but this is a lot of negativity. Huh. What was the obstacle here? Eight of Swords reversed. Nobody, somebody wasn't thinking. It's like one extreme to the other when you flip the card over. It's cage of your own thoughts if it's in the upright and you're skittish and you're weary and you're worried and you're just like, oh my gosh, horrible things are going to happen. And, 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 and the flip side of that is somebody was not putting any thought into something at all. Wow. Okay. What's the possible resolution? The chariot. Okay. It's a card of distance. <laughs> Emotional distance, physical distance. It, it, that's what it can represent. It can also represent um, steering your chariot where you want it to go. But um, I think I, I'm hearing distance, distance, distance. Okay. Let's leave that alone for now. Get some clarity. Universe, source, and spirit. Can I get some clarity in the cards on the table for Capricorn, please? Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, March 2021. Woo! Oh, wow. Oh, wow. What's going on in my Earth signs today? Wow. I thought, I thought Virgo got real. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> I'm feeling very expressive right now. <laughs> One more shuffle. I have a horrible, uneasy feeling right now, and I don't know why. It's like you walk into a room when two people are arguing, and you just like... And I'm a Sagittarius, so I always know what to say when I walk into a room until I get into that situation. And then I'm just like, um, do I leave the room? Do I stay? What do I do? <laughs> I should probably leave the room. I'll give you guys five more minutes. Let me know when you're done arguing. Okay, let's see what we got going on here. Give me a card. One run through. Thank you, Four of Swords. Arguing, fighting, squawking, squabbling, laying something to rest. I heard waiting for round two, and I don't know why. Maybe because it's a four. I don't know. Why is the Prince of Swords reversed here? Oh, hi. You want to say something, Knight of Swords? Prince of Swords, Knight of Swords. Okay, so it's back and forth word communication. Did somebody block somebody because... Oh. Did somebody get blocked because there was stalking going on? <laughs> was someone information hunting and that's what led to the block? Or maybe. That's what I'm getting off of that. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Nine of Wands. Hmm. 
one last chance, one last push. I don't want to throw in the towel yet. I just want one last try. I'm losing sleep. I haven't slept. I can't get into their account. Wow. Okay. Maybe you're throwing up walls because of somebody else's obsessive behavior. All right. Okay. So why the nine of cups reversed? Ten of swords. Putting an end to a painful cycle. Um, okay. The nine of cups, nine of cups in the reverse. Let me explain if I didn't already. If I did, I'm just going to do it again. So bear with me. Too much fun too often. Those things that you enjoy a little bit too much happening too often. Gambling, toxic behaviors, excessive stuff, shopping, cookie dough, ice cream, and 80s movies. You know, whatever you do that you enjoy doing, it can be video games, I'm dancing around it. Toxic behaviors, how about that? So you want to put an end to a painful cycle, painful cycle that was caused by someone else's toxic behavior. Maybe you want them to put an end to their toxic behaviors. I mean, stalking someone could be considered a toxic behavior. Obsessing over something could be considered a toxic behavior. Obsessing over someone else's stuff can be considered toxic. Yeah, I could see where that would cause a fight. Hmm. All right, why is temperance reversed here? Hi. Wheel of the Year. Hmm. Negative energy. Impatience. They may feel like you're putting something to rest, like you're ending a cycle. Hmm, okay. One more on that Wheel of the Year, please. Ace of Wands going off, starting something new. Why is the High Priestess here? High Priestess reversed. Two of Wands reversed. can't let something go. Egomaniac, can't let something go, won't move on from something. Confrontations, fights, arguments, won't let something go. The world. Ending of a cycle, beginning of a new. Okay. Why is the Six of Swords versed here? The shadow side comes out. They're a little obsessed, Capricorn. They're a little obsessed. They feel bound to you. Possibly just a little bit of toxic obsession. And they want you to return. You're in separation right now. Maybe they got some obsessive behaviors going on. Hmm. Why is the Eight of Swords reversed here? Why is the Eight of Swords reversed here as the obstacle in this connection? Why the Eight of Swords reversed? Thank you. Queen of Swords reversed. Harsh feelings, harsh words, dishonesty. It's 
Somebody did something without thinking, not putting much thought into it. Five of Cups. There's sadness, distress. Why the Five of Cups? The sun, because they feel connected to you. The sun shines in their life because of you, Capricorn. Oh boy, that's a lot of responsibility. Oh boy, they just put a load on you. The song is going through my head. You are my sunshine. Wow. Okay. One more. I'll beat the head. I'll beat the dead horse. It's fine. One more. Magician. I think that should have been upside down. Because I'm hearing manipulation and the, the magician in the reverse means manipulation, but not in the upright. But I'm hearing manipulation. So I'm just going to go with it. It could be some manipulation going on, some manipulation involved. Someone trying to manifest something that they wanted. It's not working out, though. Somebody has a very bad attitude. Somebody is very sad. All right, possible resolution is the chariot. Why the chariot for Capricorn? Why the chariot? It's a card of distance. I'm feeling like putting distance between you, but we'll see what the clarifier says. Hi, six pentacles. A card of generosity and balance. One more. Okay. Putting a little distance, giving each other a little bit of space, letting things balance back out. Not worrying about that cup right now. Like, neither one of you were worrying about in your cup or anyone else's. Because y'all need to get balance back in your lives. It's the outcome. Six pentacles reversed. Why the six pentacles reversed? Hermit reversed. Queen of Wands upright. Oh, okay. If you don't give each other that necessary space, the balance will never be restored. The healing will never take place. Why the Queen of Wands? The moon, you'll never know. Huh. Maybe it has something to do with the moon. A phase of the moon, possibly. Okay, well. I, never, I can't ever remember the difference between waxing and waning, but as you're looking at it, it's the crescent on the left, so. And when I figure out what moon phase that is, I'll let you know. Leave a comment. We'll converse back and forth. It'll be fun. It may never be resolved until you take a step back, too. Because the moon can mean a lack of resolution. Hmm. Okay, very interesting. Let's get your advice, Capricorn.
Princess of Cups, the wheel in the reverse. Both of these are in the reverse. It can't be reassessed if it's never addressed. If that makes any sense to anybody. It's just what I'm hearing. Nine of Pentacles reversed and the Princess of Pentacles in the upright. I'm hearing watch out for opportunists. The advice doesn't always have anything to do with the reading. Sometimes it's just things the universe thinks you need to know. One more set. The Fool. Eight of Cups reversed. You can't go forward on the path if you keep turning around and looking back. It's really hard to walk backwards. Just saying. You can't see where you're going because you're doing all your looking back. When you're walking away from something, you're walking towards something else. You can't walk towards your future if you keep constantly turning around and going back. Who am I to judge? I am nobody to judge, so... <clears throat> Page of Swords reversed, Eight of Cups reversed. Again, you can't. If there's silence between you, what's the point of looking back? Nine of Swords reversed, Empress reversed. Don't expend all of your energy on something that is not going to grow or was not meant to grow. Okay, I don't know what that advice had anything to do with the reading, but it doesn't always. So Capricorn, I love you guys. Thank you for your patience this month. I appreciate it. <sighs> I love you to bits. Thanks for hanging out, and I will catch you guys next time.